It's a disease that can be mild to life threatening. Today, hundreds will be downtown taking steps to try to stop it. WLWT's Richard Childs is live on Fountain Square with the effort to end lupus now. Hey, Richard. Jonathan, good morning. I'm with Katrin Cardosi from the staff. Of course, they're going to see hundreds of folks going to participate in this walk. 17th year, the walk to end lupus is stretched through the streets of Cincinnati. Katrin, tell us a little bit about the walk, about the cause, and the need for this sort of work. Well, the Walk to End Lupus is a 5K here in Cincinnati. We're expecting about 700 people to be here. And it is to help provide services and programs and fund research for the fight against lupus, which a lot of people don't know what lupus is, although awareness is incre has been increasing in the past few years. Lupus is an autoimmune disease. So basically what happens with the body is the immune system turns on itself. So instead of fighting outside things like viruses or bacteria that like you would expect, it starts fighting the body own tissues and it can literally affect any part of the body. You can see skin lupus, you can have organ involvement, you can see kidney involvement like Nick Cannon has. Mm. It can be a very devastating, life threatening disease. About 3,000 folks in our area, of course, depending upon the support of this walk, are going to see 60 walks around the country. This is one of the largest gatherings of people with lupus and, of course, families and supporters that we'll see in the state of Ohio. Registration gets started at 9 o'clock this morning, is that right? Yes, sir. 9 o'clock this morning. It is a 5K, but we're also going to see butterfly stroll for those folks who aren't going to be able to make the full walk. Great opportunity. Asking people to raise about $20 to participate. Yeah, $20 is the minimum donation, but of course, we welcome all donations to help support the cause. All right, registration getting started at 9 o'clock. Jonathan, looking forward to seeing a lot of folks turning out here at Fountain Square.